I'm Mackenzie O'Keefe in the CBS in Denver studio, and we have some very promising news in the fight against cancer. According to a new report, death rates have dropped for some of the most common cancers. That report was from the American Cancer Society and CDC, among others. It tracked cancer deaths from 2014 to 2018. Among men, death rates dropped for 11 out of the 19 most common cancers. For women, rates dropped for 11 of the 20 most prevalent cancers. So joining us now is Dr. Ryan Wade, a medical oncologist with the Sarah Cannon Cancer Institute at Swedish Medical Center. And Dr. Wade, this is truly something to celebrate. What accounts for this big change? Yeah, this is a celebration for the medical community and our um, fellow colleagues in the research community. I, I think there's multiple factors that contribute to this change and the drop in death rates that we've seen in recent years. I think that early detection through improved uh, detection technologies, as well as advancements in anti-cancer therapeutics and access to healthcare have all contributed to the decline in death rates that we're seeing now. Which is great to hear. Um, the study found the biggest drop in deaths were in melanoma patients, and melanoma is one of the most common cancers here in Colorado. So tell us how has awareness and treatment improved survival rates there? Yeah, my practice uh, actually focuses on melanoma and skin cancer specifically, so I, I like to speak to this point. Um, we're very happy to see that this drop, the drop in melanoma deaths in recent years, and I think that this, again, is multifactorial. There's been an increase in awareness in terms of dermatologic surveillance and the importance of dermatologic surveillance for detecting uh, melanoma and other skin cancers very early on at a time which they're more treatable and curable. Um, th the real story in melanoma is the decline in death rate over the past couple of years from 2009 to 2014. Almost 3.1% per year decline in death rate in melanoma. And I think that's attributable to the advanced therapeutics that we have for advanced stage patients. So such as targeted therapies and immune checkpoint blockade or immunotherapy, which actually harnesses the immune system to help attack the cancer cells. Um, and we've seen a dramatic improvement in patients with these more advanced and traditionally more difficult to treat melanomas. Mm, that's fascinating. Um, tell us too, another area of vast improvement was lung cancer. So what kind of new advances are happening there? So lung cancer, I believe, is very similar to melanoma in that there's been advancements in both targeted therapies, which target molecular changes within the tumor cell itself to attack the cancer cell, as well as immunotherapy, specifically immune checkpoint blockades. So in a similar story, we've seen advancements and improvements over the past 10 years with multiple medications approved by the FDA for the treatment of, of lung cancer and melanoma. And this has led to a substantial improvement in the death rate and with advanced stage disease. I will add in lung cancer that in recent years, the US Preventative Services Task Force has actually recommended that uh, uh, those who have a smoking history between the ages of 50 and 80 and who have smoked for greater than 20 years are currently smoking or quit within the last 15 years undergo low dose CT scans to screen for lung cancer. And we think that this has contributed to a decrease in the death rate by catching these lung cancers earlier on in an early time point. Right. We know screenings are just such an important part of prevention. Um, a lot of people have actually kind of put them on the back burner because of the pandemic. So tell us, too, why it's so important for everyone, no matter their age, to have that annual wellness exam. Yeah, so having a, an ongoing dialogue with your internist or your primary care physician for an annual wellness visit and to make it, making sure that you have those appointments, that you keep those appointments, that you have a conversation with your provider about the importance of cancer screening is, is really critical. Uh, there may be modalities or screenings available to you that you would not otherwise be aware of. So it's critically important that people visit with their providers uh, visit with their primary care physicians to discuss these um, these issues. Um, I, I would also add one other point that you know this this uh, study highlighted that there's also disparities in um, access to care and, and healthcare disparities across our community in Colorado and beyond. And while the death rates for cancer have decreased across all races and all ethnicities, I think that we th this highlights that we need to continue to advance our efforts to dismantle the existing healthcare disparities that we see in our community. Oh yeah, just so important. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Waite, for joining us. We really appreciate all this important information. 
Well, thank you so much for having me. Of course. And for more details on that study, you can head over to cbsdenver.com.